what was it like? Mate, it was an honor. The dude is bona fide. He's, a, he's an Oscar winner. Uh, he's this, he's that. He's made films that people around the planet have, have seen um, that are very significant, you know, at this time. Again, um, he cares. Yeah, I, I see that, yeah. You see that. Um, and he had to care. I mean, I'm not saying, I, I'm not putting this on him, but the point is everybody working on this had to care because you're talking about real people. Exactly, it's a real narrative, it's a real story. It's and I, a real and I know, experience, yep. And I know some of the family. Wow. So this was no time, and this was no time, so this was no time for play play. This was time to get serious. This was yeah. time to summon up, the, summon up the spirits, you know, of these people, sing a hymn for them, um, you know, with quality. Yes. You know, not, not one of those productions, maybe as, uh, you know, as we were saying before, one of those productions where they did it, but the mm. quality wasn't great. You know, yeah. they didn't throw the money at it. They, they kind of like skimped on the story. Or well, downloaded no. it, down diluted it. Or something, you know, stuff and nonsense when we watch some of these things. Well, no, with this, uh, you can tell that there was quality. He needed there to be quality. He needed it to be real, you know. As I've said before, when when uh, um, that we're filming is six policemen throw black men into prison, into into jail, uh, into a cell, and that black man doesn't want to go into that cell. Mm. When he shouts action, it better look like that. Yeah, yeah. It has it to look, look like, like that. It can't be play play, you know? So um, th this was not the one to do that on. So, yeah. so that's, what I, that's what it was like working with Steve McQueen. For once, for the first time for me, uh, I was with a, like a, a director who really cared to tell the story, asked the, like a story of our you know, background properly. Mm. And that was, that's an honor because it doesn't happen. It's so far, it's been once in a lifetime for me on telly. Yeah. Or, or on film in this country. I've done stuff on stage, you know, and, and, and whatever I else. See. Blue Orange, yes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, and, the, and, and Joe Pennell is another, uh, Joe Pennell is another one of those writers who cares. Wow. You know, you know, but, uh, but, but Steve McQueen, he wrote and directed this. You know, he's a writer, director. You know, that's also very different when you have someone who not only directs it and knows what he's talking about, he wrote it, so he knows yeah. the heart. So he has the balance. So he knows when he's talking to you about this, you know he's coming from a place, he already knew what he was talking about because it's the culture, but you know, you know what I'm saying, he, he wrote it. So um, you feel it that much more. Yeah, know? absolutely. How did it feel like playing Frank Critchlow of all people? Cause he's like an icon in the whole, Black British, you know, Black Caribbean history. Like, how was that specific role for you? Would you have done any other role or had it any other way? Or was that just like, you were really keen on, happy to do that? Uh, I would have been happy to be uh, any part of this. Fair enough. To be, to be, to be honest, you know, you know, uh, it's, it's one of those where I would have. Um, but, but how does it feel? I mean, again, <clears throat> um, it's a first for me in my life, you know, okay. telling the story of, 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 um, of our heritage. Okay, the only time I went to, to Trinidad um, was, was a long time ago in a twin propeller plane going from Grenada to Trinidad thinking that we were all going to die. Oh, sorry. <laughs> laughing because I'm so happy, but then, like, sorry. On the, because, because of the plane journey. Yeah, no, so, very enough. That's you, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that plane journey. Yeah. yeah. And, and in the 80s, and in the 80s, that was no joke. No, I get you. I get you. Isn't there ones where you're this close to the pilot as well? Like You're, you're close just... to the pilot, you know? And people are squeezing you like this. Yeah. You know, it's <laughs> like, you know, whoo! You yeah. hear that a lot, whoo! No. Um, and, and then, and then the, the customary clap went, went. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, you know. You know these things. Good. <laughs> but 
my friends can't because my best friends are from Africa and they still ride in those propeller planes mm -hmm. like that. And like when we got there, we were clapping and they were like, what's wrong? I was just like, this is us. We're happy. We, we made it. Like it's a customary, you know, that we just kept all the time. But sorry, go on. So, so, um, so anyway, anyway, you know, we're representing um, our heritage. I, 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 and the other thing is, is that I, I've been someone who's been saying for quite a while, um, I want to do something that represents my heritage. And, yes. You know, I, I don't want to play another role that was written for a, a white guy. Uh, I don't want to play another role that was written for a woman. I don't want to play a role because of this kind of like, you know, um, this thing that, that, that uh, you know, people are trying, they're trying, to, you know, to, to give out roles and stuff. This was actually uh, made sense on a, on a gut level for me. Um, things about this, I didn't really have to think about too much when you read the script. Yeah, you know, uh, and 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 maybe when I, I don't know, I can't speak for you, but maybe when you watch it, you recognise things. Well, the reason why that is is because everybody in that recognised what they were doing. And yeah. when you do a script, when you read a script, um, when you're playing on on screen like that, as it were, um, it's that much easier, in mm -hmm. a way, funnily enough, mm -hmm. uh, to get those emotions out. Yeah because you understand to the core, your DNA understands. Yeah, you know? absolutely. So what was it like? Um, you know, listen, you get the phone call. Well done, you got the thing and uh, from the agent, you know, you got the call, you got Frank, yeah. You know, and you have a big smile on your face. And then within 10 minutes, you think, oh man, now I've got to do it. Mm. Serious, now, now from, from the moment that you hear, it's like that kicks in, that seriousness, that a few minutes a few minutes you get a few minutes of discussing like well done's and stuff and, and mm -hmm. whatever else but then you realize yeah i have to how long have i got to do this right about three and a half four weeks mm -hmm. Ooh, i've got to do an accent you know so as much as as it was an honor to 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 um say a, a prayer you know a hymn for these people uh, after 50 years um it's not that it's, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was, you, you know, you have to do a good job. You know, you have to take it seriously. Yeah. Um, and you know that if you don't do a good job and you don't take it seriously, you're going to have act other actors ringing you up, asking you why you didn't. Yeah, no. I appreciate you taking the accent seriously because I'm so proud. I'm happy that, you know, you, you did your thing. And it was, it was well, I know uh, that if there's one thing I know with our community, you know, I, I, I was going to have, I'm going to have too many people coming up to me and saying, well, you know, you, you, you didn't turn, you know, you, you, you didn't get into the room, man. You, you, you know, there was no chops, man. Uh, you know, you didn't do, you didn't do what you're supposed to do. Yeah. So, uh, so I didn't, so I, you know, I couldn't have that. So, uh, as I say, I, I would blame my friend Makemba uh, <laughs> for that. But we, we met a few times. We, we, we met a few times and, uh, and it was great because I got down on dictaphone and um, listen, he didn't tell me how to do the line, you know, physically and emotionally. Um, you have to get there as an actor. But um, the idea of how, of, of how Trinidad is different to Jamaica, you know, when Jamaicans get mad, what that energy is, mm -hmm. as opposed to when Trinidadians get mad, and, and what that and what that is, you know. <laughs> Just me. Just exactly, me. and the words, the words used, you know, and the the cuss words used, and and we'll go on for hours and hours and hours, and then ten years later, we still bring it up, back up. Like, remember that time when you understand? <laughs> like, you know? And 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 I always loved um, our Trinidadian family. I always loved the accent and I loved their spirit. Because it's different to Jamaica. People, it's, it's different. The Jamaicans uh, got the headlines in my family. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, the small island lot of my family, the Grenadians, you know, they don't really get the headlines so much if you see where I'm coming from. So, um, you know, the, the Jamaicans are, are quite loud and, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah. uh, present. I, I compare uh, Jamaicans to Nigerians and Trinidadians to Ghanaians. We're like the calmer, quieter, and then you yeah. know, like, ah! like in your face. There you go. There you go. There yeah. you go. You see things like that. It's it's things like that. So to have a magnifying glass thrown on those little nuances as well, mm -hmm. for me, it's it's tremendous. You know? Yeah.
Absolutely. So we're big fans of Carnival here over at Caribbean. Have you ever been to Carnival? Like, do you prefer Juve Carnival? Well, Juve, I should say, or Pretty Moss? Well, you know what? You know what? For me, I've been to Carnival from when I was like six, seven years old. I remember my dad driving us to Carnival, wow. the Notting Hill Carnival. Wow. Okay. In London, because I haven't been to Carnival in any in any other country um, uh, yet. Yet. You should but, come to that. Get Makemba as well to bring you through. He's not a good friend if he hasn't had you for Carnival. Oh, he would. Oh, he would. He would. He definitely would. But um, but uh, I remember those days uh, and being able from South East London to get to West London in like 20 minutes as well. Um, but I have to say, the last few times at the Carnival, let's put it like this. You know, you know that song, um, In the Streets is Getting Out? But the youth them I get so cold. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen, don't stop me, you know. I'll pull up my... <laughs> I, mean, I am like, I'm training to the bone, so I'm ready to party. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, 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 unfortunately, the last couple of carnivals I've been to in recent years made me think of that song. Mm, okay. Because, because at the end of the evening, uh, you know... Um, what I've seen uh, on the streets after midnight uh, uh, has been uh, has been upsetting. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I've kind of like I took a back seat from the carnival, but I love the carnival more often than not. I love it. I love I love the food, the atmosphere. It just reminds me of being young again. It reminds me of of being young and going to market and stuff. Yeah. I don't know what it is. You know, you're just seeing a lot of people on the same level. Yeah. Uh, uh, all being there for the same reason yes and uh and all there to have fun yes 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 and like, and, and free fun drama free fun just drama free fun and whenever you're around our community doing that there's no better community no. there's no better day it, the food the the rum the the dancing the you know every <laughs> single thing so, uh, so, so the weaves, sorry, is that what you were saying? <laughs> I, but for sure, the look, the, the, you know, there's, there's, you know, and there's a little bit of that in the mangrove, you know, there's, there's a little smidgen of that um, in the mangrove uh, uh, about the pan, you know, where the pan comes from. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and what, what that means and, and uh, actually, you know, and, and, and where the, these spirits come from, the want to do this, yeah. uh, the need, uh, to 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 um, to dance, to to uh, summon those spirits of fun. You you know what I'm saying. You know, I, I, uh, I, I, it's beautiful, I, I, man. It, it, it's beautiful. I'm so I'm, I'm so <laughs> I'm so glad I've got to calm down because I'm going to be dancing with you uh, if uh, if uh, you know if I'm not careful and I've got to be careful. But um, look. Um, it was an amazing experience. Um, all of these things that you've brought up, they're in the show. Um, uh, they, they, they show it's not just one side of things that we're looking at here. We're not just looking at the worthy side. We're not just looking at the oh, woe is me side, you know. And we're looking at that. We're looking at the fact we like to dance. We like to smile. We like to joke. We like to eat good food. We like to be a, a, a amongst good company with good music, good vibes. And, uh, um, but when our vibes are messed up, uh, we take umbrage to mm -hmm. that. And, um, yeah, I think that's explored in that show. Thank you so much for that. Like, can you tell me which one you prefer between theatre and on screen? It's always about the role. Okay. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. I actually never thought of it like that. Can you... Like, I don't know. I don't know that everyone would say that. I don't know that, uh, that every actor on the planet would say that. Right. But for me specifically, um, in like you mentioned, Blue Orange, uh, by hook or by crook, I have to play that role. Mm. It's not that it's theatre. It's not that it's TV. It's just that you know, there's certain things about that role that I uh, I recognise maybe, and um, and it's real. It represents the real. You yeah. know, it represents a cry for help. Um, which which I think the mangrove does as well, you yeah. know. Um, so yeah, I would do that role every single time I, I, I'm asked, you know, if if they're going to do it properly. 
um, wh whatever, wherever it was. So again, you know, Kwame Kweyama has wrote a, sh a show as well. You know Kwame? No, not familiar. Okay, well, Kwame. <laughs> <man. laughs> I should say yes for like, for anything. No, no, not I'm necessarily. But, um, yeah, <laughs> look him up. He's an interesting dude and he's doing some great things. Uh, and um, he wrote a show that uh, for the National Theatre a few right. years ago that we ended up doing twice. There are people from all over London, from all over Hackney, all over Peckham, all over Forest Hill, all over East, North, South, West, came to the National Theatre to, to, to watch and, and enjoyed it very, very much. Um, I'm sure you have a role to play with that because your credentials are, you know what I mean? So don't all give it to Kwame. But I've, been, I've, been, I've been very lucky. I've been, I've been very, very lucky, but it's always about the role. It's yes. always if the role is representing something that I think I, I can I can mirror, if it's if 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 I feel I can speak for this character or, or something like that. I know it all sounds a bit okay. Come on, Sean, but it essentially ends up being that. To be honest with you. Yeah. Can you give us any like juicy juicy previews of Mr. Frank Critchlow? You're not allowed to divulge too much. I don't know. It, I mean, it depends when this article, this piece comes out. But um, are you talking about what happens in the show, or uh, what, are, what are we talking about? Anything you want to tell us? Um, no, I can't, I'm not, I mean, not going to spoil it. I'm not, I'm not going to kind of say, uh, watch out for this bit, you know, when everybody kind of, you know, when the spaceship arrives or something. I'm, you know, I'm not going to say that. But uh, no, I would just say that um, if you're interested in watching the nuances of Black culture, um, the gamut of emotions, uh, uh, which is a a day or a week in the life of of of, of the West Indian community, um, then this is the one to watch. Absolutely, and with it being such like a serious, because small have quite a serious narrative. Like obviously, viewers can expect to grasp some. Well, as you said, a well-rounded representation of the West Indian history and experience. But where can we find you next? Well, there's bits and bobs coming out. There's a film's just come out, Black Emperor uh, of Broadway, which is about the uh, is a true story about the first uh, black actor on Broadway in America. Um, so that's just come out, and um, yeah, I've got bits and bobs that I'm not really allowed to say right now in terms Fair of, in terms of TV. Uh, I'm just about to go on to, to do something now, so I, I'll just, I'll, yeah, I'm not going to say anything there, but uh, you, will, you will see me again. I hope so. Um, yeah, I'm going to try my hand at a bit of writing as well. So. What, a bit of who? A bit of writing. Right? Oh, okay. I mean, you know. Okay. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> okay, I'll remember you, Ashley. Yes, um, please do. And I, hopefully I meet Makemba as well and I tell him off about not Yeah, having... you'd love Makemba. You'd love Makemba. I'm sure you would. Uh, he's a good guy, but uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Sean, for your time. Like, it's been really a pleasure speaking to you. You too. For sure, for sure.